Hey guys, and welcome to Laws Mixing. Woo, woo, woo. So yeah, second vegan recipe. Um, so today we're cooking veg and cashew. Now I know some people have a problem with the way I say cashew because I think people say cashew. Anyway, cashew. Funny story to this recipe really, um, because first kind of had chicken and cashew when I went to Thailand. Obviously that was chicken and cashew and that was my favourite dish in Thailand, like it was my go-to and it was just so like juicy and succulent and saucy and mmm, it was making me miss Thailand. And then I turned it to corn and cashew because I wanted to cut down my meat before I did this anyway. So it's like corn and cashew. And I was really surprised by corn and how like the chicken pieces they do. Like to me, they were just like chicken. Like I thought they were like top notch. So shout out to corn there because it was good. But then you can't have corn as a vegan. So then I turned it to veg and cashew and I love it. And it's actually better than corn and cashew. So yeah. It stays juicy and saucy and beautiful and it's full of goodness so I'm excited to show you. This song has just come on. Staying alive. So, get a large wok or a large frying pan and heat the oil. So, what the cashew nuts in, I put a whole bag in and you don't want them to get burnt, so keep a real good eye on them. That's the kind of colour you're looking for them. Just a bit golden, just a bit brown. Set them to a side, put them in a bowl. Now, add the onions. Make sure you cut them stringy. I'm all about the onion cut in these days, but they just get really soft and juicy later and they absorb all the like soy sauce and dark soy, so it pays off. Now, you know what the onions in long, um, this whole meal is pretty quick, so just get them in until the smell starts coming out. And then whack in your garlic, garlic in. Oh, hello. My fingers always smell of bloody garlic because of this. I saw a meme the other day and it was like an old woman with a grandchild on her knee and it was like, Nan, why do you always smell of garlic? Because I peeled the garlic when I was 20 years old and it reminded me of my life. I said I'm older and put up a lot more garlic than that. Cool story, bro. So as you can see, it's a bit steamy. Garlic thin. Green chilli. It isn't needed, but I do like a bit of spice. Like the green beans aren't actually needed as well. But, you know, stuck it out with veg. You know, it's a veg cashew. So why not go wild? And I'll show you in a minute. It's getting a bit brown. Um, I really think about stir fry, so like, you got to get the sitting and then the stirring, like you've got to get the right combination of it or the ingredients won't actually, they'll have a burn or then all they'll stew. So you've got to sit it for about 30 seconds and then stir it. Remember high heat as well and all that. As you can see it is quite a high heat. Green peppers. I've done these again quite long and chunking. Because I think when everything softens down and gets a bit more saucy, it works out better. Get your peppers in as early as you can though, really, because peppers can be a bit of a crunchy one. I like a bit crunch in my peppers though, so like mixed up. See what I did there? More mixing of the texture. So let the peppers sit for a while. About two minutes, like nothing major. Just so you know, this is what we're looking at. I can't get too close because it's a bit steamy. But you've got your onions, chilies, garlic, all in there. And then to go are the mushrooms, green beans, and courgettes. 
Um, I'm going to whack in the few green beans now. Oh, there you go. And then I'm going to put my first load of light soy and dark soy in a few minutes. Right, so we're going to get the courgettes and mushrooms in now. And how I did these is peely, peely, peely with one of these bad boys. My favourite kitchen item. I love them because basically I know you can get these spiralizers and yeah that's all good and woo but these are so much cheaper and they do the same job so and it's quite therapeutic you just say peel it down the street and my six spot peel it peel it so invest in one of them so that's all in and that'll sweat out a bit, sweat down. You'll start getting all these beautiful smells and flavours knocking at your door. Now, if the heat does get high and the onions are burning or the garlic is burning, you can turn it down. It's not a cardinal sin to turn the heat down at the stir fry. Once that's all in, give it a few minutes to just kind of sweat down cook through a tiny bit and then we'll start adding our saucy saucy so this is what you're looking at you see that a lot of it's sweated down um, but obviously it's still got a bit cooking to go um, but we're going to add some dark soy now as you can see vegan so like I think it's like two tablespoons but I do a, a big vlog of it man like if you need it in your life vegan again light soy oh crazy tiny bit more and then the occasional salt and pepper and then a sprinkle of brown sugar in a minute um, normally it would be fish sauce as well but obviously kind of does what it says in the tin and it's not vegan or vegetarian so now if you turn the heat down I turn it right back up again get them juices going get that mix in, mix in salt and pepper as always um, anything else you like that you think my compliment is. Try it out. No harm in trying it out. The whole reason I'm here. I'm just trying life out. Seeing how it treats me and that, you know. Like go shopping to another planet though. Opening the sugar now. I'm not, I'm not trying to get a close up. Don't know if you know it's a lip surf. I'm not war this in ages. Sugar, just give it a sprinkle. Brown, brown Demera sugar I'm using. Well, two tablespoons. <laughs> two teaspoons. Oh, not burnt my hand. So I'm going to give you a look now. So that's what it's looking like. And as you can see, look at all that juicy stuff. Juicy goodness bubbling. Let that go on for a few more minutes. And then we'll taste it and add back in the cashews and you can serve it with jasmine rice noodles or you can just eat it on its own like i normally do um it's up to you just fix in the pan <laughs> so i'm gonna add in the cashews it's sweat down a little now so just put them in a bowl inside in case you forgot i'm just gonna mix them all in put all the sauce around them i'm gonna add a tad more dark soy i tasted it and i feel like it needs a bit more of that so if you've got ginger paste um i've not got any in at the minute but normally I put a bit of ginger paste in or a tad of grated ginger. Works a lovely treat. Yeah, it's it's looking ready to serve now guys. I'm gonna give you a nice little close up. So you can have a look. So this is what we're looking at. Look at that. This is then juice is bubbling away. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I take the last taste. See if we need anything else but I think we're all ready. I think we're ready. So guys it's dished up. It's like a little bowl of Thailand. Hi Kai! Good memories with well chicken and kishu but now veg and kishu. Just that taste has very good memories for me and I hope you'll be making some memories watching Laws Mix in and I hope this dish will have good vegan memories for you. So thanks for watching. Kopenka!